ever considered what it would take to survive in the Arctic wilderness? Let's delve into a world where the thermometer regularly dips below freezing, where the sun bows out for months at a time, shrouding the land in a cloak of darkness. This is a place where isolation is not just a state of mind but a stark reality. The Arctic wilderness, a vast expanse of white, is as beautiful as it is unforgiving. It's a place where nature reigns supreme and humans are mere visitors. Here, resources are scarce. There are no grocery stores at the corner, no warm beds waiting for you at the end of a long day. It's a constant battle against the elements, a test of endurance, resourcefulness, and resilience. You must learn to adapt, to use what little you have to survive. Now imagine that's your reality. Welcome to life below zero. Survival begins long before setting foot in the Arctic. This is not just a saying but a fact that stands between you and the harsh, unforgiving Arctic wilderness. The process of survival starts from the moment you decide to embark on this journey, and the key to it lies in preparation. The first aspect of preparation is physical conditioning. The Arctic is not a place for the faint-hearted or the physically weak. Its extreme temperatures, icy winds, and treacherous terrain demand a high level of fitness. You need to build strength, stamina, and endurance to withstand the Arctic's harsh conditions. This includes rigorous training, adopting a healthy diet, and acclimatizing your body to cold weather. Remember, the Arctic does not show mercy to those who are ill-prepared. Next on the list is survival training. Knowledge is indeed power in the Arctic. Knowing how to navigate, build shelter, find food and water, and signal for help can be the difference between life and death. Survival training equips you with these essential skills. It's not just about reading manuals or watching videos, but about practical, hands-on experience. It's about learning to make fire with limited resources, understanding how to read the Arctic's unpredictable weather, or knowing which Arctic plants are edible. Lastly, mental toughness. The Arctic is not just a physical challenge, but a mental one. The isolation and constant threat of danger can play tricks on your mind. It's essential to be mentally prepared to face and overcome these challenges. This means developing resilience, maintaining a positive attitude, and being ready to adapt to changing circumstances. Surviving in the Arctic is neither a walk in the park nor a casual holiday trip. It's a battle against nature, where your greatest weapon is preparation. It starts with you, your physical strength, your survival skills, and your mental toughness. It's about being ready to face the Arctic's harsh reality, armed with knowledge, strength, and a will of steel. Preparation, in essence, can be the difference between life and death. And in the Arctic, these are not just words, but a harsh reality that every adventurer must be prepared to face. In the Arctic, your gear can save your life. Surviving in the Arctic is not a game of chance. It's a test of preparation and the right gear. Think of it as a chess match against Mother Nature, and your survival gear are your chess pieces. Each piece has a specific function and, when used correctly, can help you conquer the icy expanse. Let's start with clothing. Dressing for the Arctic is like layering for a cake. Your base layer should be thermal underwear, capable of wicking away moisture while providing insulation. The middle layer is your main source of insulation, typically composed of down or synthetic materials. The outer layer, often a parka, acts as a shield against the wind and snow. Don't forget about gloves, hats, and boots either. These pieces should be waterproof and insulated, designed to protect your extremities from frostbite. Shelter is your next line of defense. A good tent can be your home away from home, providing a barrier between you and the elements. It should be durable, easy to set up, and preferably bright-colored for visibility in whiteout conditions. Pair it with a high-quality sleeping bag that can withstand Arctic temperatures and you've got yourself a cozy fortress in the snow. Fire starting tools are also crucial. A reliable fire starter can mean the difference between a warm meal and a frozen one. Opt for something weatherproof, like a magnesium fire starter or stormproof matches. Remember in the Arctic where finding dry fuel can be a challenge? Every spark counts. Finally, navigation equipment. A compass and a topographic map are fundamental, but in this digital age, a GPS device can also be a game changer. These tools will help you keep your bearings amidst the seemingly endless white landscape. Remember, the right gear isn't a luxury, it's a lifeline. With the correct preparation and the right equipment, surviving the Arctic can move from the realm of impossibility to the domain of achievable. So gear up, plan carefully, and respect the power of the Arctic. In the Arctic, finding food and water becomes a daily battle. In this icy expanse, every morsel of food and every drop of water counts. The Arctic doesn't just hand you these precious resources on a silver platter, you have to work for them. To start off, let's talk about finding food. 
Ice fishing is a common method used by the natives and experienced adventurers. It's a simple concept, really. You drill a hole in the ice, drop in your line, and wait for a nibble. Of course, this requires patience and a lot of warm clothing. Hunting is another option. The Arctic is home to a variety of wildlife, from caribou to seals. However, hunting requires skill and knowledge of the animal's behavior. It's not just about pulling the trigger. It's about tracking, stalking, and striking at the right moment. Remember, the Arctic is their home, and they know it better than you do. Now let's move on to water. In the Arctic, water is everywhere, but not all of it is drinkable. Eating snow or ice can lower your body temperature and lead to hypothermia. The best way to obtain drinkable water is by melting ice or snow and then boiling it. But what if you're on the move and can't start a fire to melt snow? This is where carrying a portable water purifier comes in handy. These devices are compact, lightweight, and can turn snow or ice into drinkable water in a matter of minutes. However, finding food and water is just part of the battle. You also need to ration your resources. It's tempting to feast when you catch a big fish or find a clean source of water, but in the Arctic, you never know when your next meal will come. So, whether it's patiently waiting for a fish to bite, tracking a caribou, or melting snow for water, survival in the Arctic is about resourcefulness and resilience. Remember, in this unforgiving environment, every meal is not just food. In the Arctic, every meal is a victory. A good shelter can shield you from the Arctic's deadly cold. In the unforgiving Arctic wilderness, a well-constructed shelter can mean the difference between life and death. It's your fortress against the frigid winds, your sanctuary against the biting cold, your refuge from the relentless elements. When building a shelter in the Arctic, you need to keep three key factors in mind, insulation, wind protection, and structural integrity. Let's delve into each of these a bit further. First, insulation. Insulation is what stands between you and the bone-chilling Arctic cold. It's the layer of warmth that traps your body heat and keeps the icy air at bay. There are various options for insulation in the Arctic. You can use snow which is a surprisingly good insulator, or natural materials like moss and animal skins if available. The goal is to create a barrier that prevents your body heat from escaping into the cold. Next, wind protection. The Arctic is infamous for its harsh, howling winds. A good shelter must be able to withstand these gusts without collapsing or letting the cold air seep in. Construct your shelter with the entrance facing away from the prevailing wind direction. This will help to reduce wind exposure and keep your shelter warmer. Lastly, structural integrity. Your shelter needs to be sturdy enough to withstand the Arctic's unpredictable weather conditions. Whether it's a snowstorm or a blizzard, your shelter should be able to hold up under pressure. Build a strong, robust structure using materials like snow blocks or wood and reinforce it with extra layers of insulation. Remember, your shelter is not just a place to sleep. It's your lifeboat in a sea of snow and ice. It's your haven against the Arctic's ruthless cold. It's your safe space in a world of white where every minute counts and every decision can be a matter of life and death. In the Arctic, your shelter is your fortress. The cold is your greatest enemy in the Arctic. It is a relentless foe, ever-present, patiently waiting for any lapse in your defenses. But fear not, with a bit of knowledge and preparation, you can keep the chill at bay and thrive in this icy wilderness. First and foremost, let's talk about clothing. The Arctic is no place for fashion statements, friends. Here, the name of the game is layering. You start with a base layer, close to your skin, designed to wick away moisture. This is crucial, as wet skin loses heat 25 times faster than dry skin. Your mid-layer serves as the main insulation, trapping heat close to your body. Down or synthetic materials are perfect for this. And finally, the outer layer, your shield against the harsh wind and snow. It should be waterproof, windproof, and breathable. Now let's delve into the importance of staying dry. Remember, water conducts heat away from your body about 20 times faster than air. Wet clothing, sweat, or even a dunk in icy water can rapidly lead to hypothermia. So keep dry. Change out of wet clothes as soon as you can and be mindful of sweat. Pace yourself when doing strenuous activities to avoid overheating. And now, we come to one of humanity's oldest allies, fire. In the Arctic, a good fire can mean the difference between life and death. Not only does it provide heat and a way to dry wet clothing, but it also serves as a beacon, a source of comfort, and a way to cook food. Building a fire in the Arctic may be challenging, but with practice and the right tools, it's entirely doable. Remember the cold doesn't have to be your enemy. With the right clothing, the awareness to stay dry, and the ability to build a fire, 
you can turn this formidable foe into a manageable challenge. Remember, in the Arctic, warmth means survival. In the Arctic, getting lost can mean certain death. These chilling words ring true in an environment where every turn looks identical and the horizon stretches into an infinite expanse of white. In this unforgiving terrain, navigation isn't just about finding your way, it's about survival. One of the most reliable navigational tools in the Arctic is the trusty compass. However, it's important to remember that the magnetic North Pole isn't the same as the geographical North Pole. Compasses in the Arctic can behave unpredictably, so it's always a good idea to carry a topographic map and understand the concept of magnetic declination, which is the angle between magnetic north and true north. The night sky can also be a faithful guide. Polaris or the North Star is a constant beacon in the Arctic sky. Its position relative to the horizon corresponds roughly to your latitude and it's always due north. The constellations Ursa Major and Ursa Minor, also known as the Big and Little Dipper, can help locate Polaris. Landmarks, although few and far between, can be vital in Arctic navigation. Unique formations such as distinctive mountain peaks or unusual ice formations can give you a point of reference. But be cautious. The shifting nature of the Arctic landscape can make these landmarks appear to move, which can be disorienting. Speaking of disorientation, let's talk about whiteouts. These are conditions where the landscape and sky become a uniform white, erasing the horizon and creating an illusion of a never-ending expanse. It's easy to get disoriented, and even the most experienced explorers can lose their sense of direction. In these situations, it's crucial to stop, stay put, and wait for conditions to improve. Remember, the Arctic is not a place to test your luck. Every step must be calculated, every decision deliberated. The margin for error is minuscule and the cost of a mistake can be life itself. So, when navigating the Arctic, keep these techniques in mind, respect the land, and above all, trust your instincts. In the Arctic, every step counts. Surviving the Arctic is more than just a physical challenge. It is a test that pushes the boundaries of the mind and spirit, plunging deep into the human psyche, unearthing the raw essence of our being. The Arctic wilderness is not just a geographical location on a map, it's a state of mind. It's a place where the primal instincts of survival converge with the sophisticated cognition of human ingenuity. The Arctic's relentless and unforgiving environment strips away the superficial layers of our existence, exposing the core of who we truly are. It's here that determination becomes more than a motivational buzzword. It transforms into a tangible force, a lifeline that pulls us through the biting cold, the blinding snowstorms, and the stark isolation. Resilience, too, takes on a whole new meaning. It's not about bouncing back, it's about pushing forward, about adapting, about evolving with the environment. It's about embracing the discomfort, the uncertainty, the fear, and using it as fuel to forge ahead. But perhaps the most critical element of Arctic survival is hope. Hope is the beacon that lights our path in the darkest hours, the spark that ignites the will to survive. It's the whisper of a gentle breeze on a still night, the glimmer of the first morning light breaking through the perpetual darkness. It's the silent yet powerful affirmation that we are more than our circumstances, that we can endure, that we can overcome. In the Arctic, you're not just surviving against the elements, you're surviving against yourself, against your doubts, your fears, your limits, and it's in this battle, this journey, that we discover our true strength, our true grit, our true spirit. In the Arctic, the human spirit is truly tested, but remember, even in the harshest conditions, survival is possible. It's in these moments of intense struggle that we realize our potential, that we understand what it truly means to be alive. It's the ultimate test of the human spirit, and it's a test we are all capable of passing.